Today we are going to learn how to solve a rational equation. Before that, let us define what is a rational equation. A rational equation is in the form f of x equals p of x over q of x, where our q of x, which is our denominator, should not be equal to zero because in the case that our denominator will be zero, the function will be undefined and we don't, that, we don't want that to happen. Let's take for example, a rational equation a minus 4 equals 4 a minus 4 minus 4 fifths or 4 over 5. Let us solve the rational equation that I just wrote on the blackboard. For us to be able to proceed with our first step, we need to identify first what is our GCF or greatest common factor for this rational equation. The greatest common factor for our rational equation is 5a minus 4. How to determine this? You actually just take the denominators that you have there. If you see your denominator written twice, for example, this is a minus 4, and you see another a minus 4 here, take one time of it only. And also, the other denominator, which is 5. That's why we have 5 times a minus 4. So let us multiply the entire equation with the greatest common denominator, which is 5 times a minus 4. Let's proceed with the distribution of the terms. You multiply this one here to this a here, you would have 5a times a minus 4 over a minus 4. Equal, you distribute the same term, which is 5 times a minus 4, to these two terms here. We have 5 times 5, we have 20 a minus 4 over a minus 4. You also multiply that same uh, GCF to 4 fifths. You would have minus 20 over a minus 4 over 5 because 5 times 4 is 20. Let us simplify each term. We can cancel a minus 4 for the first term. For the second term, we can also cancel a minus 4. And for the last term, we can simplify 20 over 5, which is 4. Let us rewrite the answer. We have 5a equals 20 minus 4 times a minus 4. Let us distribute negative 4 to the terms inside the parentheses. We have negative 4a plus 16. And on the right side, we can combine like terms. These are 20 and 16. So we have 5a equals negative 4a plus 36. And from this on, we can apply the inverse operation to get rid of the negative 4 on the right side. So we have 5a plus 4a equals negative 4a plus 4a plus 36. And let's simplify both sides. We have 9a on the right side because 4 plus 5 is 9 and copy the right variable a. We can cancel negative 4a plus 4a because the result will be 0. And we have 36. We then divide both sides by 9 to solve for a. it means to say that our a is 4. This is going to be our, uh, the value of a for the given rational equation. Before we conclude that if a or 4 is really a solution to the rational equation, you need to check first because you notice that our denominator in our original rational equation has a variable. So let's start off um, checking it. 4 over 4 minus 4 equals 
4 over 4 minus 4 minus 4 over 5. 4 over, uh, 4 over 4 minus 4 is actually 4, 0. But just checking at this term here, this term becomes undefined. And this actually violates the policy or the definition of a rational function. It means to say that this 4 here is not a solution to our rational equation. Thus, the solution is going to be an empty set for this rational equation. We're going to talk about more examples after this few minutes. This is another example of solving rational equation. Let's take for example, we have 15 over x equals 12, I'm sorry, let's make it 21 over 3x plus 2. Alright, so our first step again is to identify what is our greatest common factor or greatest common divisor for this rational equation. Based on the previous example, we need to take the denominators of our rational equation. We have x here, we have another x here, and we have 3 here. You notice that x is written twice, one, one x here and another x here. So take one time of it and the other denominator, which is 3. Basically, the greatest common factor or divisor is 3x. Let's multiply the entire equation with the greatest common factor or by the greatest common factor. Let me rewrite the original equation, 15 over x equals 21 over 3x plus 2. And this time, I'm going to multiply everything by our greatest common divisor or greatest common factor, which is 3x. 3x times 15x, we have 45x over x equals Distribute 3x to the term here and also to that ter term there. 21 times 3x is 63x over 3x. Plus 2 times 3, you have 6x. Let us simplify each term. We can cancel out the x on the first term. So what is left is 45 equals, we can also cancel out x on the second term. We have 63 over 3. And if you are going to take a look at it, is 63 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Which is... 21. So the remaining number here or term is 21. And then copy the remaining term which is 6x. Apply the inverse operation to solve for x. 45 minus 21 equals 21 minus 21 plus 6. 45 minus 21 is 24. 21 minus 21 is actually 0. We can cancel that out and copy the remaining term, which is 6x. To continue solving for x, let's divide both sides by 6. 24 over 6 equals 6x over 6. We would have 24 over 6 is going to be 4. Equals x. This means to say that the value of x is equal to 4, and it then follows x equals to 4 could be a possible solution to the rational equation that we have here. And for us to be able to make sure that it's really a solution where it doesn't make sure it doesn't violate the definition of a rational function or equation, let us substitute the value of x equals 4 to the original rational equation and simplify it. 
checking. We have 15 over 4 equals 21 over 3 times 4 plus 2. I'm just going to copy it here. 15 over 4 equals 21 over 12 plus 2. 15 over 4. When you combine these two items, the answer is 15 over 4. Thus, it says that the value of x, which is equal to 4, is the solution of our rational equation. Thank you so much for listening.